Hey guys, better call Saul. It's here, and you better call, or else Mike's gonna get you. Okay, so in all seriousness, oh yeah, tonight was a pretty good episode, and it sucks that there's only two episodes left, but even so, you know, I mean, I did The Walking Dead, and there's only one episode left for that, so, you know, screw it, whatever. <laughs> so, better call Saul. I went into the show not expecting the whole lot, because I loved Breaking Bad. Uh, it was the only show that my father and I, specifically, my father and I, would watch and together whenever new episodes came out so it, it meant a lot to me and when we found out about Better Call Saul I told him I was like yes and when we f found out that Mike was gonna be it because Mike is our favorite character like as a like at the same time but you know I digress but oh man Better Call Saul so this show is getting pretty intense and what's going on with Jimmy's brother it's insane i mean that aside from you know the case that they're making that was the main focus point of of the episode that they were focusing on you know jimmy and his connection with his brother and his brother's you know mental illness thing that's going on with him being you know terrified of electricity and electromagnetism and all that and i'm just like oh man he oh man Okay, so before I go any further, yes, there's going to be spoilers all over this episode. Duh. Uh, that's what reaction and review is. But, you know, we got the end of the episode with him walking outside, grabbing the keys, opening up the trunk, and just acting like, eh, no big deal. Then when he realizes he's outside, he's like, oh, man. And the preview for the next episode. Yeah! Yeah! It's getting crazy. Okay, so, yeah. Oh, man. And this show, oh, man, it's just really up there. I mean, I did not expect it to be this good because Saul Goodman, personally, didn't care for him in Breaking Bad. But as Jimmy McGill and seeing him in Better Call Saul, I mean, normally, when you take a show and you put a comp a comedic relief character as their main focus it typically doesn't work more than often it fails but you gotta give it to the Gilligans I mean or whatever they're called Vince Gillen Gilligan ah, I can't remember it whatever but you gotta give it to these guys they know how to make a good story and how to keep it just altogether awesome I mean we've only seen three characters from the original show we've had Tuco we've had Saul aka Jimmy and we have Mike and it's just all over the place awesomeness and I wouldn't be surprised if later on down the line we see Mike come into contact with Gus and see how they meet and all that and man, I, I do actually want to see you know guest appearances from uh you know, uh, Jesse and Walter White, some of the other characters from Breaking Bad. Because, I mean, even just, like, background appearances, you know, maybe Walter White, I don't know, passes by one day. That'd be pretty cool. I mean, there's just a whole lot to go on here. And this show is keeping me on edge, and it's just awesome. It is just awesome. So, we got the conflict with Jimmy and his brother, and now we got the whole... Uh, law thing going on with him figuring out hey there's fraud going on in the elders home and to see him just jump into a trash can just to go get those shredded files I'm like I couldn't do it I couldn't but I gotta give it to him he's got guts the only problem is that uh, they weren't in the trash they were in the recycle bin honestly if I was gonna get rid of documents I wouldn't shred them I'd burn them I would burn them that way they couldn't be taped back together they'd be burnt they weren't coming back oh man I don't know people don't think about stuff like that I mean I don't see a point in a shredder sometimes I would just burn it all but <laughs> and then we had that little aggressive letter that he sent out to them that was 
insane. He really went all out. That was a ballsy move. And I just got to give it to him. We got a little more progression with Mike and how he starts hanging out with his granddaughter a lot more. And the, the relationship going on between his daughter-in-law and him. So, got a little bit on Mike. Not much, but, you know, all around. Good episode. So, and then there was that clip at the very beginning where we found out about what was happening about how Jimmy became, you know, uh, an attorney. And I was just thinking the entire time when the door was closed, I'm like, oh, man, he's saying something. He's saying something to Jimmy. Punch him, Jimmy. Punch him. Because in the original show, I had this sort of gift. I could tell whenever someone was about to get slugged. And I just say, and I would just say, like, punch. And then suddenly, bam! And I, I just, I love this show. I mean... It's not Breaking Bad, but it's definitely, man, it's good. It's good. I see it more as a comedy show, but it's good altogether as it's standalone show. So, no, this is not a real gun. It's it's an airsoft gun. This it's a fake. I just I painted over the uh, the orange, so. Fake gun. <laughs> no, uh, no. Fake gun, fake gun. I can just imagine someone being like, he's shooting off a gun on live TV. It's like, no, no. It's a more proof. See, airsoft, it's, it's just, there's no room for any of that stuff in there. No real bullets. That, okay, I got all that copyright stuff out of there, so I'm going to put this down. Uh, yeah. So, altogether, I want to give this episode uh, all suspense and everything. I think I'll give this an 8.5 out of 10. I thought it was a good episode. It really held its own. And it got me really excited for the next episode. So, yeah. 8.5 out of 10. Alright. Comment. Smash the like button. Hit the subscribe button. And if you have an idea for another reaction and review video, leave it in the comment section below. Be sure to share this with as many of your friends and whatever as you can. I do appreciate all the help that you guys give. I've been Kendricks, and have an awesome day, people. Peace out.